Hello, hello, welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today's reading is gonna be for you, Leo. If you are here and you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. All right, my beautiful Leos, I have not used this deck in forever, so I just decided to whip it out for you. Let's see what great messages are in here for you, Leo. I'm hoping for great things here. I'm really hoping for great things, Leo. What's going on with Leo spirit? What is going on with Leo? Leo, what's going on? All right, Leo, let's see where you are right now. What's going on with Leo spirit? What's going on? Leo, you're coming out as the Ten of Wands, guys. The Ten of Wands, Leo. You have a lot of burden that you're carrying around right now. But you're not only carrying around your own burden, you're carrying around other people's burdens as well, guys. Sometimes you have to get to the point and say, what do I need to release? What do I need to let go of so that I can be happier? So that I can be in a better place. All right, so this is kind of giving me ending vibes, but we'll keep going and see what's going on around you, Leo. Let's see, what's at the head of everything? I have the six of coins. At the head of everything is um, you feeling like you're doing more in a relationship than the person that you're connecting with here. Okay, so it looks like you are carrying all of the burden here. Things are one-sided here. So what's at the root? The moon. So not only are you carrying around all of this burden, Leo, but you're keeping it to yourself. Okay, you're repressing the emotions. You're, you have been hurt by things. You know, you are a little resentful, but you're not really being honest about it. You know, what's the point of that? You're holding it in, but it's not serving you. You're not getting what you need out of the relationship because you're not being open about what you need here. Okay, what happened in the past? Eight of Cups in reverse. I had to leave them, Empress. I had to leave. Or I wanted to leave, but I just didn't know how. The Eight of Cups is returning to something that you've left before or it can indicate that you are refusing to leave, refusing to accept the change that is needed. And if you have ended it, it indicates that you aren't really doing well since you walked away. Okay, this is like, I still want to go back. You know, I still want to, you know, I still want to interact with this person. Not fully being able to disconnect here. What's up for the future? Knight of Wands. Okay, so you're going to be taking some action. Let's get a little, a clarifier. Ace of Wands. Okay, spirit, we get it. Leo's going to be taking action, and this is your zodiac energy, Leo. What is it? Looks like you may have a new opportunity, Leo. I have judgment, and it's here in the reverse. Okay, for some of you, your um, if you have left, if you have experienced a breakup, your ex is coming back in, and they're going to ask you, hey, will you take me back? Okay, I see that here for some of you. For those of you who have been unable to leave, I see you running towards a new opportunity here. And I see you being very excited about it. And, um, but either way, in either of those scenarios, judgment is here in the reverse. So I'm getting the energy of a Leo who's just at their wits end. That's kind of what I'm getting here. What else from the past? The Empress in reverse. Oh, Leo. You tried to make it work, man. You tried. Let's get a clarifier. Two of coins in reverse. Yep. You tried to maintain balance, but it was not a balanced situation. Your person just wasn't giving to the relationship the same way that you were. What else for the past? Queen of Swords in reverse. Lots of arguments. Lots of disagreements. Lots of miscommunications. 
And Leo, it's, it looks like, you know, you, you have, you're starting to have so many resentments that you're starting to have an attitude and, you know, you may be snippy with people. You may be snippy with your coworkers. You may be snippy with your children. You may be just, you know, in a bad mood generally overall. For some of you, you really had a tumultuous relationship. To have the Ten of Wands here with the Moon and the Queen of Swords, I'm a little worried about that. For some of you, this could be an abusive relationship. And if that is resonating with you, please reach out for help. And if you were able to escape that situation, please still reach out for help because therapy, guys, is very important. It's very important. For the future, we have the Ace of Coins in reverse. And we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. So you have two opportunities before you, Leo. You have an offer that you're going to be very passionate about. And you have another offer that's uh, not so reliable with this Ace of Coins being in reverse. Um... It looks like you're going to have a decision to make, Leo, with this judgment. You're going to have to choose which one of these opportunities you want. So let's go in there and let's check out both of these opportunities and see what lies ahead with these opportunities. Okay, so we have this Ace of Coins. This is undoubtedly past energy, someone that you were committed to. For some of you, it's with someone you may have been with for a year. For those of you um, who have a new opportunity, someone else new over here that you've been keeping your eye on, this is very new. This could be one week. Um, well, this could be coming towards you, but let's find out about this Ace of Coins in reverse for Leo. Tell us about that. Why is this Ace of Coins here for Leo? There it is. We have the nine of coins in reverse. Again, Leo, you keep screaming. I'm doing the most in this relationship. I'm doing everything. I'm doing everything. And it's not, it's not working out in my favor. I have the 10 of cups. For some of you, you have children with this person. For others of you, you feel like this is your total and complete happiness. I have the five of cups in reverse, but you're tired of the arguments. You're tired of the arguments and ready to move on from that. We have the eight of swords. There is another card of I need to get out of here. I'm feeling trapped. And I got to get out of here. This is also the energy of delay. This is you haven't wanted to deal with what's been going on in the relationship for fear of what the future may hold have the three of cups in reverse uh-oh third party situation something interfering in a relationship anything could be this extra cup work family your children other responsibilities or this could be infidelity with this other ace of wands over here is making me think leo <laughs> it's making me think let me definitely clarify this three of cups why is this three of cups here? We're getting the five of swords in reverse. The four of wands in reverse and the nine of cups in reverse. Okay, I think this is from your partner's perspective. So, you know, either your partner may have cheated here or your partner has placed other things before you. And I'm just seeing again with these fives, you're wanting change. You're wanting something to change here. You're tired of fighting. You're tired of arguing. You're tired of crying. And you're ready to move on. You know, things are not stable. And you're not happy. You're not happy. Nine of Cups in reverse. Bottom of the deck, I have the Eight of Cups, another moving on card, moving on towards my happiness and being very excited to do so with the, all this red. Hmm. 
All right, so we have something new on the horizon. Let's check that out. This Ace of Wands for Leo. Uh-oh, Tower card just flew out of the deck. All right, guys, so this is a major change here. Life is changing here, as you know it, Leo. Big life changes here. Maybe you had an aha moment, that epiphany. You finally realized that you didn't want to be with whoever this is. Let's check this out. Let's start with this Ace of Wands. We'll go back and follow up with that tower. Tell me about this Ace of Wands for Leo. Ooh, we have temperance and we have the seven of wands we have the hermit we have the moon and it's in reverse it's coming up in your past energy we have the queen of swords and we have the two of coins okay Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Coins in reverse with the Sun in reverse and the Queen of Coins in reverse. All right, so for a lot of you, I see you guys walking away from the relationship that you're currently in. Again, we're back at whatever is holding you guys back. Whatever is in between you and your person. In a relationship, there's two people. This third person here could be, again, another person, a thought, an action, a behavior, Something is keeping you guys separated and making you feel like you need to leave. Something is making you unhappy. This person isn't giving you the security that you need. You don't feel like you can count on this person. You don't feel like, hey, if I stay together, if we stay together, I'm sorry, we stay together, then, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll have everything that we've ever wanted. I don't see that here. You, you've lost faith in your partner. But with this new opportunity that's coming in with this Ace of Wands, I see you moving towards more balance in your life with temperance here. I see you standing your ground moving forward with the Seven of Wands energy. You know, standing up for yourself, not accepting certain things. With this Hermit energy here, that's again, that's going into that Tower energy. That's aha, I finally figured it out. You went within and you have figured out that you want something different here. You want balance, two of pentacles. This is what this is screaming. I want balance. This, the entire reading has been imbalance. Imbalance. I keep hearing, I do it all. That's all I keep hearing in my head. Here's this queen of swords energy, Leo. This is you, the decision maker in a relationship. You're probably always the one going back to apologize first, <laughs> you know, but you're very intelligent, Leo. I see you making better decisions here, moving towards new opportunities here, and the moon is here in reverse, so spirit is encouraging you. Don't repress your emotions. Be very open about how you're feeling about things, and don't worry about how things will turn out just do your part with this ace of wands energy for some of you with that hermit energy coming out your love life has been stagnant but fret no more fret no more change is here change is here leo messages for leo Very soon, guys, if you guys have experienced a breakup that your past person is coming back very soon. I keep seeing it here, but you also have new love here. That's why judgment is here. It's going to be up to you whether or not you give this person another shot or if you're going to move on and cut your losses. Messages for Leo. Leo, you have honeymoon. I always like to get this card, guys, because sometimes when you have to let something go, it can be a wonderful blessing because in order for you, for something new to come in, you have to let something go. So on this boat, this boat travels along this water line all day, every day, going back, going forth. It takes people. It brings people back. 
So people leave on this boat and people arrive on this boat, Leo, and you have someone heading towards you. Messages for Leo. We have unrequited love. There we go again. Things being one sided. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's again, you know, maybe you're at your wits end now. You've had enough. Calling in your soulmate, coming out in your future energy, guys. So if you've been manifesting a soulmate, your prayers have worked here. Your affirmations have worked. Your visualizations have worked. Whatever way you have called in your soulmate, they are here. Messages for Leo. We have soulmate. Look, fell on the table too. Soulmate, they're here. We have a separation in your energy, Leo, coming up under this unrequited love. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. For some of you, it's already happened. But for some of you, it's coming your way. Messages for Leo. And we have religious factors. This is the Hierophant card. This is about stability. This is what you're seeking. And I don't feel like you're getting that right now, Leo. I don't feel like you're being offered, you know, like I said, that sense of security. Are you going to be here with me 10 years from now? Are you going to be here with me 20 years from now? When we both look different, where we're both boring, <laughs> like, are you going to still be here? On the bottom of the deck, I have chemistry. Yeah, Leo said, I want some more excitement in my life, you know? I want to be attracted to my person. I know, Leo. Through the fire. I'm trying to get that fire back. Messages for Leo. Okay. We have date, getting back out there, meeting someone new and or dating online. We have the butterfly. This is new energy, guys. This is a stepping into a new phase, stepping into a new phase. And you know what the butterfly, guys, the butterfly is not always a butterfly. You know, the butterfly needed to take time to develop into the beautiful butterfly that it has become. And that's you, Leo. You are ready to evolve and grow and move on and take your lessons with you, you know. I'm not making the same mistakes of the past. And I'm no longer going to allow the past to hold me back. And we have addiction. There we go. That codependent energy that keeps you attached to things that don't serve you. All right, Leo. Side note, I just saw the narcissist card. So some of you have been dealing with the narcissist, which would explain why we have so much imbalance in the relationship. You have the separation card again. Somebody is missing you when this card comes out as well, Leo. And they're thinking about you, uncertain about whether or not you're going to take them back. It's coming up in your past energy. You have the runner. <laughs> This is you, Leo. You are running, okay? This is also the other half of a codependent relationship. They're chasing you and you are running away from them, Leo. And look, grounding, stability. This is the stability card. This is the same energy as the Hierophant. You're looking for stability. You're looking for someone that you can grow with. And look what's right there, guys. Wouldn't let me end the reading. <laughs> The runner, your person said, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, Leo, don't leave me. But on the bottom of the deck, we have the towers. Some of them are getting ready to get shook. Some of them exes are getting ready to be shook because there's going to be change here. There's going to be change coming. All right, since this person had to show up to the reading. Let's see what they want to say. Why is this chaser card here? What do they want to say to Leo? They made sure. <laughs> Leo, they say, I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm stalking you, Leo. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh because sometimes stalking can be serious, but I don't think this is a serious stalking. This is someone watching your social media. Or just wondering what you're up to, wanting to know what you're doing. I don't get like a, a dangerous energy from this person. Let's get one more card. What else do you want to tell Leo? What else?
mirror. Yeah, I can tell that this is a narcissist. What they're saying is you do the same thing that I do. You are exactly like me. Isn't that narcissistic? You're just like me. You're just like me. And look what's on the bottom of the deck, karmic relationship. Yeah, this isn't your person, Leo, this past energy. They're not. All right, guys, well, that's been your reading. If you are here and you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. All right, Leo, good luck in making your decision. And I will catch you guys on the next read.